This system is going to provide us with new information as we move to recover salmon and steelhead in the Snake and Columbia Basin and new insights uh, as to how to operate the hydropower system. Uh, so the way the pit tag technology works is a tag is put inside the juvenile or adult salmon and steelhead. That tag is about the size of a grain of rice and it's a it's a transponder in that it doesn't have a battery. The way that it works is it, the tag passes through an electromagnetic field that then energizes that tag and then a microchip transmits the, a unique code for each tag. There's millions of possible codes and the tags last forever. They, they don't have a battery that expires and therefore you can take and you evaluate both juvenile and adult survival because the tag will last throughout the life of the salmon. So the benefit of this is that we can take and we can measure migration timing as well as we can use that information for how we're operating the hydropower system and other management applications to try and recover the endangered species that we have in the Columbia and the Snake River Basin. We started spill for juvenile fish passage on April 3rd and through this morning there's over 78,000 juvenile pit tag salmon and steelhead detected migrating downstream through that spill bay uh, this year. So it's during the month of April. During that same time there's about 8,000 that were that passed through the bypass system and were detected in the bypass system. That's a tenfold increase in the number of juveniles passing Lower Grand Dam that were detected this year by this new system.